People of YouTube, hello. Uh, for a long time I've been toying with this idea of making a series of videos, probably not very often, maybe like once a week, couple times a week, where I talk about my opinions about things happening uh, in the video game industry or video game media around video game media, which I am a small part of. Uh, so I thought what a better opportunity to start doing these videos, which I think probably I've been like, oh, I should do this, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do doing this for about a year, maybe or more. Um, so a better opportunity to do this and then to talk about the new thing which came out, well, this news kind of, this became news about uh, a day ago, two days ago, something like that, where Yocast, uh, um, the very popular uh, YouTube, I guess they're a network, um, the group of people who are Yocast decided to um, offer game developers a new service, which they call uh, Yoke Discovery. Uh, you have no idea what Yocast is, they basically uh, do a lot of Minecraft and Gary's Mod videos, um, uh, and there's, I think, I don't know how many of them, like 20, 30 channels, something like that. And like the biggest one has like 7 million subscribers. And then the smallest one, maybe, I don't know, like half a mil, something like that. I've seen the smaller ones, there's, and a lot of them have like almost 2 mil, and a couple of them over 1 mil, etc., etc. So they're pretty big, let's, let's put it that way. Uh, and so they decided uh, to put a new, make a new service available to game developers where they will play your game um, in exchange for a share of your revenue. This is something that kind of surfaced a while ago, um, maybe about three, four weeks ago, uh, where someone said like, oh, they're actually approaching people with this idea. Um, and that was some, like, there was some negative response that followed this. Uh, and now they're officially sort of came out with it. And this is gonna be, they gave it a name, it's a service, you can do this. Uh, the way this works is so, like I said, you bring your game to them. I right? tell them, okay, I want you to do this. I want you to play this game. Uh, probably make an LP. I'm not sure it's one video, two videos, three videos, or whatever amount of videos. And after the video goes live, all the sort of, I think not extra, but all the, the sales you make, uh, they'll get a share of that. Now, they haven't obviously made public what that share is going to be and for how long that is going to be happening because say like the video goes out on the 1st of August and post, let's say up till 10, 7th of August or whatever, 10th of August, all the sales you make uh, will be considered to be a result of your cast video or videos and you they will get a share of that money. Now, the concern that most people had about this um, is that, oh, but that's biased. You know, you're paying them to play your game, they're enjoying your game, blah, blah. But this I think is not the main problem here. Um, the reason for that is that they actually are not journalists, for one thing. Um, paying people to play your game is very popular on YouTube. Not Almost no one probably mentions it, but a lot of people get paid or are given some sort of material gains um, to play games. Uh, I know a lot of Battlefield people do this. Uh, all those AAA sort of shooty-shooty games, they get some kind of benefits from the developers, publishers, etc., etc. Sometimes they are directly paid extra, maybe they're getting extra money for the ads, etc., etc., etc. Very rarely declared. Um, and Yocast are not journalists, so it's not a huge problem that they would be doing this. I think they should still still should declare that they are being paid for to do a particular video or anyone who is getting money for it or any other material benefits. Um, but that is not really the problem here. The problem here, I think, is that they will be getting shares of all the sales. Um, and it is not that, not just hard to determine whether or not the specific sales were caused by your cast. It is impossible to do because most games are often sold on many different platforms. They are, um, you know, you'll have your game on Steam. Often it's also on Humble. You can sometimes sell it from your own website, etc., etc. And while say your cast made a video, someone else will also could be making that video the same day. So some people will watch your cast video, others will watch say Total Biscuit video, and someone else will only watch PewDiePie exclusively and go buy the game because PewDiePie made a video about the game. Um, but the money will only go to your cast. Um, that's one issue, but, and because of kind of that nature of, of you know, the impossibility to track down where the sale originates, it's generally a bad idea to just get a flat tax 
on the developer's revenue. And I would, I mean, I guess I would not be surprised if a lot of developers do participate in this, but um, it, it's, 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 to me, it seems like a pretty bad idea, generally speaking. Um, so, cause we're, I don't know, it just feels very, very dirty. Instead of, for example, uh, offering developers to give them money as advertising, but instead of actually making an advert, or like, you know, oh, like a commercial of a game, like a trailer that you see on TV sometimes, like some AAA games have, have that, right? Um, they could have been like, okay, you pay this much, depending on how much you maybe look at the developer, be like, okay, you guys are not that big. You know, I'll get this much money from you. We'll make five videos. We're going to be playing your game, um, which makes sense because it's accountability kind of is there. It's tracked. Um, but, uh, or referral links, which they actually, in their um, statement, they say this is a bad idea to have referral links, and it's pretty hilarious. Let me find where that is. Um, another reason why, while I'm looking at this, I found another thing I highlighted is why they're doing this. Their, their explanation of why this is happening is quite hilarious. So they say, Yo Discovery allows them, so to, uh, their, to them being the, the Yo Custers, the, the makers, uh, to partially negate the financial risk from playing games that aren't guaranteed views and be more genuine about playing the games they want to play. It, interesting. I'm not sure how the genuine part works, but so the, basically what they're saying, because it's not going to be Minecraft, we're probably going to get less views, but we do not want to get less money for less views. So we are going to negate this by claiming money for everything that caused this game to sell for a week or two or 10 days or whatever the amount of days. Uh, but let's get back to what I was looking for here about referral codes. And that's pretty interesting. Um, so people watch our videos, they say, uh, direct quote, through many devices and locations from Xbox to Android or on our website, for example. Many people cannot click a link or choose to go directly to their platform or retailer of choice. So hence, they do not want to use the referral code. In case you don't know, referral code is when you have a special link and when someone presses that link and then buys the game, you get a percentage of that, which I think is completely fine. I, if someone has to offer me to do this, I probably would not say no. I say I am covering a game. I would still say what my opinion is. Possibly now, would I do that? Probably if you're covering the game, you shouldn't do referral links. If I was doing a let's play of a game, if I was doing a let's play of a game, I would probably use a referral link. I would not mind. Um, because I do know that, you know, some some of you seen me play something and then bought this game. At least you told me so, unless you are liars. Possibly, could, could be. You, call, you, you all could be liars. Could, could happen. Um, but if I'm doing a review, I think it would be also inappropriate. Anyway, journalistic content should not be financed by publishers or developers. That it goes against the whole idea of producing journalistic content. But anyway, it, I found it hilarious and kind of sad almost that they are upset that if they use referral links, someone may get away. Someone may be like, no, screw you guys. I am not going to click your link. I'm going to go and do it on my own. Just go to the whatever store and buy it without using your link. And they're like, see, so we're losing our money. Why don't we then charge for every sale and get a share from every sale of the game up to a certain point? which is just, I don't know, it's, it's so, so greedy, such a greedy thing to do, um, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, I'm not mind making money from videos. I am trying to uh, grow this, my, you know, um, myself and Ed, uh, who are uh, owners of the channel, um, trying to grow this into a sustainable business. And so I understand the need for money, etc. Um, if you have a sustainable business, or I assume they would, if you have that much, you know, views, they get like, what, half a mil? per video, usually at least the biggest site, the biggest channel that they have does that. Um, and after that, sort of being unhappy that someone is still fucking getting away without paying us. That's, that's really bad. I think there's another thing I hear, I think that um, was pretty interesting about the whole issue, which was um, people actually about that thing. So, so you are the people were like, you know, this is like a uh, frequently asked questions type situation. So does this mean someone's asking that your cast is for sale? So as in like your opinions can be bought. Uh, and then they, and they underline that we are not journalists and we do not provide review or opinions on games. Thank God they said that. However, we feel it's worth clarifying, though I, I disagree that they don't provide opinions on games. You cannot play a game without providing an opinion. 
especially if you're recording yourself playing it. You're saying something about what's going on. That is your opinion. Um, however we feel, to continue, it's worth clarifying that we wouldn't ever, ever give positive opinion, this, this is for some reason in quotation marks, on a game in return for any form of uh, remuneration. Now, this is dishonest as crap. There is, this is not how human psychology works. This is not how money works. This is how now, how not how any economical situation resolves itself. If you are paid to do something, you are biased. If you are paid to do something by the people who gave you the product that you're using, you're biased towards that product. Now, if you're paid by someone else to use the product, then you are less biased towards the product. That's just the way it is. If you are paid to play some game, let's say someone comes up with a game, uh, zombie, Nazi, pirates in bikinis and brings this to your cast and they play it and they get whatever, 15% of the, of the sales for a week, which, which is, I mean, in their, in their terms, um, like how many people watch that and how many people would actually buy that game because of them because I'm not denying that I'm sure there would be a lot of people who will buy the game because Yokas made a video about it but then will be also everyone else because there are some people who just copy them be like oh they're making a video about this I'll make a video about this oh this guy making a video about this oh this guy's making a video about this oh this guy's making a video about this as well I might well make a video about this and so it will be sort of like a uh, snowballing effect there a lot of people make a video about this and this the numbers the, the amount of money they get per that would for, for that week of sales could be huge. And it's also quite ironic that in, in their in their press release, let's call it that, it was just like based on Reddit. Um, they are also saying that we will encourage people to not use Steam and instead we will encourage them to use Humble because A, they get a better share, um, the developers get a higher share of money from Humble and plus 10% goes to charity. So... <laughs> People who are just squeezing the money out of their audience in, in a way, or the developers just make trying to maximize their 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 um, money making potential, are worried that the poor developers are not getting a good enough share from from Steam. I, you know, do you, right? Anyway, so that's that's my opinion on the matter. Um. I would be very interested to know your opinion on the matter, uh, which uh, hopefully you'll be kind enough to uh, relate in the comments below. Um, obviously, this kind of format is not you know, something that everyone who is subscribed to the channel will enjoy. Um, feel free to skip, don't watch it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I do feel like something like this is gonna stick around. This is the first video, so format may change, you know, some, some small changes may happen to it, et cetera. Um, but nonetheless, Hope you enjoy, enjoyed the beginning of the new series. And if you did so, please consider supporting this video in any way you can. And do not give me part of your share revenue. Um, I don't know how you would. You're just watching a video on YouTube. But yeah, bye.